Yes? Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the Temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Your first priority now should be to find Martin and bring him back here. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. One of the youngest blades ever to serve in the Emperor's personal guard. I am glad to hear that he survived, but I fear he will take the Emperor's death particularly hard. The coronation of each new Emperor is sealed when he uses the Amulet of Kings to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One. The dragon fires of Akatosh remain lit until the death of the Emperor. His successor then lights them anew upon ascending to the throne. With Emperor Uriel dead and no successor crowned, the Temple of the One will be dark for the first time in centuries. The Elder Council rules in the Emperor's absence by ancient tradition. Chancellor Akato heads the Elder Council and is the closest thing the Empire has to a leader right now. But the Blades answer only to the Emperor, of course. We are not an arm of the government. The Daedra Prince of Destruction, an inveterate foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jaegar Thahn's plot against the Empire years ago. It doesn't surprise me to find his hand in the current calamity. He is a priest in the chapel of Akatosh in Kvach. He never knew that he was Uriel Septim's son. You need to find him at once and bring him safely back here. Yes, Boris told you right. I am the Grand Master of the Blades. We serve the Emperor and the Septim bloodline. Talos is our patron. You wonder to find me here? Discretion is our watchword. Only a few of us have the honor to serve publicly in the Imperial Guard. Waste no time. 
You must find Martin before... Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing... Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Savly and says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can! Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. We lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. But that damned 
oblivion gate blocking the way. The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You can see the marks on the ground where they were, at the great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. My home! My goddamn home in flames! It kills me that I can't get in there and do something! We couldn't have been any less prepared for this. Seems like they came out of nowhere. There were just so many of them. If only I had a way to strike back at the enemy. But we can't leave the barricade until that oblivion gate is closed. You mean the priest? Last I saw him, he was leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them, at least safe for the moment. If he's not... Some kind of portal to oblivion. The enemy used them to attack the city. They appeared outside the walls, and Daedra poured out. They've opened one right in front of the city gates. Until that gate is closed, the best I can do is try to hold these barricades. Good luck. It's a brave thing you're doing. Thank the Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... taken. They were taken to the tower. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. They took many and off to the big tower. You've got to save him. I'm getting out of here. You're right. 
I can't just leave poor Menian to his fate. If he's still alive, we've got to try to save him. All right, lead the way. Let's find Minion and get out of here. What's the plan? I'm right behind you.
over here! Quickly! You should not be here, mortal! Your blood is forfeit! Your flesh is mine! Look out! Over here! Quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil keep, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion gate open. Find the sigil stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry, the keeper has the key. You must get the key. Take the key. Get to the sigil keep and find the sigil stone. It's the only way. Don't worry about me, there's no time! Get moving!
I'm just lucky to be alive. Close the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. Hokavanch! For Kavach! Turns out. It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on. This is only the beginning of the battle for Kavach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. Report, soldier. Sir, we're all that's left. Barak Inian, myself, and these civilians. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir, but they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous, but they left anyway. I guess they didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir, I want to help fight. You will, soldier. Once they're secure, get back here immediately. We'll need every available blade, and there'll be plenty of fighting to go around. Sir, yes, sir. Civilians, it's time to move out. Let's go. We've done it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't really think this would work. Maybe we do have a fighting chance. Oh yes, we're not done, not even close. This was only the first step. If this town is to be ours again, we'll need to get inside the castle. You've come this far with us. Will you go further? If we're truly going to succeed, I'll need much more of your help. I warn you though, what we've seen so far is nothing compared to the battle that likely awaits us. Take a few moments to catch your breath and think it over. When you're ready, let me know and we'll get underway.